hi you guys welcome back to another segment on the coffee and cream channel i know it's probably a lot of people out there like alice why haven't you made any videos since you've been at school there's two reasons for that the first reason is i've been extremely busy as soon as i got back to school we were hitting the ground running so i had student leadership institute that turned into the freshman week that we host i'm an ambassador here at my university so we had that lion camp and then that transition into welcome back week and we're also a part of sab at my school so i've been super super busy trying to get my classes right trying to get my schedule right trying to get my organization skills right all that all that I've been trying to get done the second reason why I haven't been making videos because I didn't want you guys knowing how much of a filthy pig I am uh, for somebody who's like really organized and creative on my channel if that's the vibe that I give off I'm really disorganized sometimes and so because I was barely in my room and I was running around campus trying to get stuff done all the time my room was filthy but I cleaned it up kind of you know what I'm saying making a shake and bake and it's kind of clean now so I was like yeah Let's do a video. Let's get it cracking on this Monday. So, do you ever get home from class and you're just like, ah! honestly, I could really just be a stripper. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just sell drugs and produce trap music. Ah! Yeah, I do too. It's a part of becoming an adult. But I have learned a few tips and tricks, being this is my second year in college and I'm only 18. Um, that really helped like relieve a lot of stress, a lot of frustration, and produce maximum productivity. This magical concept is called time management. Time management sounds really easy and we hear people talk about it all the time, but it seems to be something that people just don't seem to be able to master. So here are the official coffee and cream girl tips of how to keep yourself less stressed in college using your mind and scheduling. So my first tip for you guys is like don't stress because it's not going to be easy and I know that's not really a tip but people have this idea that like once they come up with this concept of how they're going to be more organized this year everything's just going to work out handy dandy. It's not okay it, it just never does it it doesn't i don't know why but it really just starts with you so it's gonna be some days where you fail it's gonna be some days where you try and you try and you try and just seems like you're not being productive but just stick with it and most importantly stay disciplined because discipline and time management go hand in hand if you are not disciplined you will not be able to properly manage your time but i really just discovered like this new planner if you follow me on snapchat then you know i'm crazy about it and i post it on my instagram like twice and i absolutely love it it is this this is like literally has been my bible for the last two weeks to i discovered this page on instagram called passion planner and it was these really really cool weekly planners and it had everything on one page one thing that i've always hated about planners is like it doesn't really show me what i need to do within the week like i've never just found a planner that i really like or that i could stick to because i had to flip too many pages to find notes and like what i'm supposed to be doing today or it wasn't enough space for me to write so finding a planner that had more than enough space for me to write everything i'm gonna need it's just incredible and this thing has changed my life i'm not gonna tell you to buy one but, but if you want to properly time manage i would definitely suggest you check out the instagram page check out their website and they even have free downloadable pages that you can like try out before you actually order the book to see if it'll work for you and i did that like a week before i ordered my planner and i was even more in love with first off you get a month and this is like my month and just i just wrote like meetings and this is something that one of my um administration gave me about coffee cream girl thought it was really sweet but then it's gonna ask you questions about your last month so this that month that i just showed you was september this is asking me questions about August. It has questions like, how do you feel about the past month? Rate it from 1 to 10. Um, what are the three things that you learned last month? Who are you grateful for last month? Just things that you can actually keep progress on and tabs on. That'd be really cool to look back on in a year. Not really like that. But then, it goes into your week. And you can order them. This one starts um, on Sunday. But you can order them where they start on Monday for like college students. And I just think this is so cool because you see your whole week, you have times. These little gray things are time slots. So it goes all the way from 6 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. 
And so it has the date. You can order unplanned ones, so you can just start using it as soon as you get it, or you can order. These are currently 50% off because the year, the year is coming to an end. So I just bought one of these, and I'm gonna get my mom to buy me one for New Year's that's undated or dated. I don't even care. But um, yeah, so it has your time slots, and it has like your the top ask you what your focus for today is. Um, and then you have like a little bottom portion that asks you like take notes and I put my homework assignments here I put just random things that I think throughout the day things I need to get done and then underneath this side of the book It has your personal to-do list and your work to-do list so I put like things I need to buy from the grocery store things I need to get accomplished in my room and then I have like homework assignments right here and like places that I need to go on campus to go check for paperwork and this that, and the other over here and then I'm a really positive person so it even comes with motivational quotes for the week and goals for the week so the challenge for last week was to compliment five strangers every day and just like see how it changes your day so I did that and then um it also gives you a place to write your goal for the week like by the end of the week I need to do this and it also gives you a place to write good things that happen so like if you're looking back you know passing this to your kids or something they can see what you were doing at every hour of the day see what good things happen to you do throughout the week what you were accomplishing what you were doing what you were thinking and to me this is perfect because it's really compact you can order like an 8 by 11 so a full page size one or this little mini baby one I think for New Year's I'm gonna get the bigger one because I like writing really big but this one's really really cool I absolutely love it it was only like 14 bucks and it keeps me on track dude it keeps me so focused with that um definitely in my plan the thing that you're gonna see which is another really big tip on organization is routinizing yourself if you follow me on snapchat then you know i'm really big on trying to routinize myself this year and routinizing is just putting your body on a schedule so if i'm a biology major and what i learned is basically if you constantly do the same thing to your body it'll start to adjust so it means like okay let's say mondays wednesdays and fridays you have an eight o'clock and then let's say tuesdays and thursdays you have maybe a later class like a nine o'clock Routinizing yourself is saying like I'm gonna wake up at 7 every day like I'm gonna wake up at 7 Monday Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays even if my class is until 9 I'm gonna wake up at the same time every day and try to go to sleep at the same time every day so that your body's used to it one of the main reasons that we're so tired in college is because sometimes we go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning and then other days we go to sleep at 8 and then some days we try to wake up at 7 and then some days we wake up at like 11 because we missed a class keeping yourself on a really constant schedule is gonna help your body feel way more energized way less tired and way more ready to prepare for the day because it's used to doing this next thing that i have for time management is schedule in time for things that are mandatory to you so what that means is a lot of times as college students we go days or a a really long time and we're not eating properly so for my schedule at 12 every day I'm eating lunch like I need to at least eat if I'm not eating three times a day I at least need to eat two or one and a half like go in the calf run grab something I can take the class to eat or drink because that energy from food sometimes us as college students we're so busy on trying to be productive that we forget to eat and we forget to sleep and those eating and sleeping are two things that are so crucial in time management because if you don't have the energy to be productive, then you can't be productive. Like, that's it for me, you guys. And I just want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to me and still following me on this journey, you guys. Thank you. I have 300 subscribers now, and I started this, like, three months ago. So I'm really, really excited at the rate that my videos are growing at. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for following me. Thank you guys for emailing me and what keep it coming any video suggestions that you guys have do about down below any series that you guys might want to see if it's college cooking anything that you guys want to see the hbc experience i'm talking anything you guys like comment it down below make sure that you follow me on all my social media including my instagram and my twitter which have both changed to coffee cream girl Ooh. <laughs> You don't even know how to feel right now. Yeah, the URL has definitely changed, you guys. It's official coffee cream girl. YouTube.com slash official coffee cream girl. So I had to change all my names to coffee cream girl because I'm the coffee cream girl. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys. Thank you for rocking with me. And I will see you guys on the next coffee cream video. Bye.